Somebody gotta step up, I'm that somebody so I'm next up Be damned if I let him catch up, it's easy to see that you're fed up I am on a whole other level Girl, he only fucked you over cause you let him crew welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell by my face I created this super easy and simple natural makeup look this look is perfect for school or work or just a quick trip to the grocery store or even just to walk your dog this look is so easy I'm totally kidding this look is the complete opposite of that I created this full coverage heavy glam makeup tutorial that I think is perfect for New Year's. I love New Year's so much and I think New Year's is the perfect time to experiment with your makeup. So I decided to create a classic smoky eye, but I wanted some glitter in the inner corner. And to be honest, I have not done a full coverage, like heavy glam makeup look in such a long time. This look that I'm wearing right here is something that I would actually wear to a club or to a party or to like a New Year's party. This is something that I would totally rock. This smoky eye is classic for any type of nighttime event. So I did a little New Year's twist by putting like silver in the inner corner. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to stick around. So make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified whenever I upload on this channel. And also, I would love if you give me a big thumbs up because it will really help me out. Also, I have two really big giveaways going on right now. On my main channel, I'm giving away an iPhone X and a bunch of makeup. I'll put a link to enter that down below. And then also over on my vlog channel with my sister, Kavari Vlogs, we are giving away a $500 Visa gift card. So make sure you guys enter both of those down below and as always all products I use in today's video will be linked down below for you guys I feel like I'm talking so much so I'm gonna make this quick but I just wanted to wish you all a happy New Year's and 2017 I just learned so much this year I grew so much as a person I graduated high school I moved out of my parents house I moved across the country my YouTube channel has like doubled in size I got a pet cat who is like my life you guys know I love Nala so much I got into my first relationship. Like this has just been such a big year for me. Let me know your favorite thing that's happened to you in 2017 down below, cause I would love to know. And I just wish and hope all of us have a great 2018. I wanna see us all prosper this year. I wish you all good health and blessings. And yeah, enough with me talking and let's just get into how to do this makeup look. Alrighty guys, so I'm starting off this tutorial with my eyebrows already filled in. I used my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. Then I just applied some lip balm and now I'm just priming my eyes so we can start the shadows. And I think I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer right here. And I'm using a concealer brush from e.l.f. I love this brush so much for priming my eyelids and just setting my concealer in general. And then I'm just taking a white shade from my Huda Beauty palette just to highlight underneath my brows. Any shade will work for this. So for the main shadows, I'm taking my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking these two shades from the top and I am buffing that through my crease as our first transition shade. The brush that I'm using right here is a Morphe M441 brush. It's a really good blending brush. I highly recommend it. So my next shade I'm taking is this yellowy shade. There is the shades on the back of the palette, but to be honest, guys, I'm way too lazy to like go get it and look at it and stuff. So you guys can just like look at the colors that I'm using, but I took this yellowy shade and I'm buffing that through my crease as well. So then I'm taking a darker shade. I'm starting to deepen up the crease now, and I'm just placing that underneath the other shadows we just used, and I am just blending that all out. Now I'm taking this even darker brown shade and this is the last of the crease colors I'm using and I took a more dense crease brush for this so I can get a darker color and I am just buffing that through my crease as well. So this is the last shade I'm using before I go into the black shades for the smoky eye. I noticed I had some stray hair, so I'm just plucking those real quick, and my eyes were watering so bad, but I can't stand having little hairs around my eyebrows. I even like shave around my eyebrows with the facial razor before every tutorial, but here I'm just blending the eyeshadows some more. So now we're all done with the crease, and now we're going to move on to the lid. So I'm taking this Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint, and it is just a pure black color. For this step, you can use a black gel eyeliner or anything of that sort, but I like to place a 
base down for the black so the black is more vibrant so I'm just applying that all over my eyelids it will look super messy at first but trust me we're gonna go in and smudge it and stuff but I'm just taking a makeup shack t6 brush and I'm using that to place it all over my lid So I went back into my Jaclyn Hill palette and I grabbed the black shade, I think it's in the shade Abyss. And using the same brush, I'm just patting that over the color paint that we put down. And I'm going back in with my crease brush and I'm buffing out the edges. So at first I just used a clean brush to buff out the edges and it has no shadow on it. And then I went back to my palette and I took that dark brown shade and I mixed it in with a little bit of black. So I can place that in between the black shades and the brown shades to create a better transition. I also took that yellow shade again just to place it on the edges just to get that warmth back because I kind of lost it after I placed all the shadows on top. So yeah, you can like just keep on blending. You just don't want any harsh edges. And then I took a makeup wipe just to wipe away anything that fell onto my face before we move on to our face makeup. And here I'm placing on my lashes. These are Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. But first I applied some mascara. I usually curl my lashes as well, but I have a lash lift right now, so I didn't need to do that. But I'm just using my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I love this mascara. And now I'm just putting on my lashes. I just grabbed my black eyeliner. This is from Marc Jacobs in the shade Blacker. And I'm just tight lining my eyes real quick. So now moving on to face makeup, I'm first priming my skin with my Huda Beauty primer and I'm using a brush today to apply it and this gave me such a pretty glow. I love Huda Beauty so much. So yeah, I just applied that primer all over my face and then for foundation, I'm using my Huda Beauty Faux Filter. Is it Faux Filter? No. Hold on. I'm getting it confused with Fenty Beauty. I think Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter. And this is Faux Filter, but I'm taking my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in the shade Dolce de Leche. And I'm using my new Vanity Planet brush. I made a whole video on these oval shaped brushes and this has been my obsession for putting on foundation. So I'll also put a link to the brushes down below because I do have a 70% off coupon code. It's a really good deal. But moving on to my under eye concealer, I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And I'm applying that in a triangular shape underneath my eyes, on my chin, my forehead, and my nose just to highlight and brighten those areas. For my contour today, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty... Oh, I said that so weird, like Fenty Beauty. I'm using my Fenty... <laughs> I can't say it! Oh my gosh! Fenty Beauty! Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Mocha and at first I am contouring my nose and again I'm using my Vanity Planet brushes and I was like you know what let me be adventurous and use these on my cheeks you guys know I'm not the best at cream contouring but I've really been loving this cream contour stick it makes it pretty easy especially with the brush that I use the brush that I'm going to use for my contour is from BH Cosmetics and BH Cosmetics I feel like is very um underrated when it comes to their brushes their brushes are super affordable i'm talking like morphe prices and they're really good so yeah i'm just using that to contour my face i'm actually giving away this brush set in my holiday giveaway so make sure you guys check that out as well so i'm just blending that all out and i'm also applying some to my forehead and then i'm also applying some contour to my jaw as well so we can look snatched honey Now I'm just setting my under eyes and I'm baking a little bit using my Kat Von D translucent powder. So I'm just taking my Tarte Quickie Sponge and applying it underneath my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Oh wait, I'm not using that yet. I'm setting my contour real quick using my Too Faced Milk... No, not milk chocolate. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I'm just using that to set my contour real quick. And then I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder and I'm using this to set the rest of my face and you know I just cleaned up my contour a little bit I also set my forehead and my smile lines with it Next, I'm taking this very dense brush from Luxie and I'm using that to press my bake in. And now for my cheeks, I'm taking my Tarte blush in the shade Sensual. This has been my obsession lately. I love this blush. And I'm using a Morphe E4 brush to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. 
And then I'm just applying some more of my black eyeliner to my waterline just to make the eyes look even more smoky and defined. So I'm just taking that eyeliner and just smudging it with a little pointer brush. I'm using that dark brown shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette as well as the black just to really smoke out the lower lash line. I'm applying some mascara to my bottom lashes. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Same one I use on my top lashes. And then just to add a little bit of like New Year's glam, I'm applying a little bit of silver glitter into my inner corner. And this is from Urban Decay. I'll put the exact name of it down below. And then to highlight my cheeks, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty kilowatt duo this one's the mean money hustle baby and i love it so much and i'm just applying it to the apples and my cheeks at first i was using this real techniques brush and it just wasn't doing it for me so i went back to my trusty anastasia brush to apply it and then i'm also highlighting my nose as well so last but not least we're moving on to lips so i'm first lining my lips with my new truffle lip liner from nyx and then for my lip color today i'm taking my mac lipstick in honey love and it's like such a pretty matte nude and then to add a little bit of gloss in the center i'm taking my my Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade so cute and then to set my face I'm first using my Mac fix plus just to melt all the makeup together and then I'm taking my cover effects illuminating setting spray to spray the rest of my face and give me a little bit of a glow so that's it for this New Year's Eve glam. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I would love if you gave me a thumbs up so I know. And also be sure to subscribe down below for more videos and have your notifications on. Again, two really big giveaways going on. Make sure you guys enter down below. And again, I just wish you all a happy new year and I love you guys so much and I wish the best for all of us for 2018. And I hope to see you again on my channel for my next video. Bye everyone.